all right guys welcome back to another video uh we're gonna do a little bit different of a video today um instead of playing a mission or a randomly generated mission um, i went ahead and made this mission for us so that we can see the difference between a dynamic entry and a deliberate entry so the main difference between these two is going to be the speed at which they are conducted so a dynamic entry is think about like an active shooter scenario or something where the enemy already knows that we're here um, and we need to get into that room as fast as possible so in a dynamic entry we're going to get everyone stacked up here on the door we'll still go ahead and have a breacher on the opposite side of the door if possible but in a dynamic entry we're going to flow into this room right away so as soon as that door kicks open one person's going to come in here second person's going to come in here and the rest of the team is going to follow behind so the reason that we enter the room this way is that we can get muzzles into the far corners as quick as, quick as possible we'll always be doing some sort of a center check just as that door opens because we're going to get eyes on the room there first obviously if there's a threat there we'll take them out but the point of the dynamic entry is to get in here quickly. Um, there are also a couple of options on how to get into this room. Um, we'll see as we have everyone stacked on this side of the door. We are going to get someone across because we do always want to breach from this side of the door. But if the majority of the team is then stacked on this side, there's a couple of options on how we're going to enter. Um, the breacher is going to be the last person through the door. So we can either send this guy across or we can have him button hook. So going straight across is going to be faster for him to get into the room. However, since everyone else on this side of the door is behind him in the stack, that means they're going to have to button hook in order to cover him. So a button hook is going to take longer than it is to flow in. So what I typically like to do if I have the option is if I'm the number one man, I'm going to go ahead and button hook first because to me, that's the more difficult of the two. So I'm going to button hook that way. My cover, he can come in directly behind and get this corner, right? Because I don't want to get shot in the back personally. So if I'm coming in here and my partner's having to button hook, I'm exposed to whoever's in this corner for a longer amount of time just because it's harder for him to do that button hook so if i just go ahead and do the button hook first then he's going to be able to pick up my rear much quicker so that's how we're doing our dynamic entry is we're moving in fast the opposite is going to be the deliberate entry so in this case we're going to get everyone stacked up on the door we're still going to have a breacher here on the door handle side but what we would like to do is we're going to want to pie this off so we're going to get a little bit of standoff from the door and we're going to be looking in from each side of this as we come in so as we do that when this door is swung open we're going to be able to see deep into the room and as we move as we move forward more we're going to be able to see further into the room still being protected by this wall here as we move further we can see in more move in see more get all the way to the other side. We've practically cleared the entire room by ourselves um, without having to expose ourselves to anyone in any corners. And then same thing, we're just gonna flow in. So that's how we're gonna do that on a center fed room. And then we've also got a corner fed room up here. Same type of deal. We're going to get that door handle side opened on a dynamic entry. We're gonna send that first person in He's going to be able to clear straight ahead as that door opens. Um, so if once he takes out any threats this direction on his dynamic entry, he'll then collapse and face this direction. The number two guy will come into this corner. And again, there's a debate on whether you should go straight ahead or do that button hook first. Really, there's no right answer. Both answers are right. Um, the only thing that's wrong is if you're the number two man and you don't go opposite of the number one man. So the number one man's always right. Uh, number two, you just need to go in the opposite direction. So on that dynamic entry, as soon as that door opens, we're going to get bodies into this room. 
Uh, in the other hand, if we're doing a deliberate entry, once that door swings open, we'll do the same deal. We're going to try and pie off as much of this as we can, looking in. And then once we've cleared out this section, on our deliberate entry, we're going to do what's called running the rabbit. We're going to come in along this hall that we've already cleared, and we're going to orient our muzzle to this area that we have not cleared yet. Number two man is going to button hook here, and he's going to have a muzzle into this deep corner right away. So the reason that we do that is because when we come across and have this guy looking at the same time, uh, you have two muzzles pointed in this corner very quickly, uh, which is what we want. If you have this guy come first, then this guy has to go around him before he can get his muzzle into the fight. Whereas if this guy goes first and he's right behind him, you've got two muzzles very quickly. Okay, so now we will demonstrate the difference between a dynamic and a deliberate entry. We're going to get the team all stacked up here. Breacher is going to push across. Okay. So we're going to get his muzzle oriented here. We will swing this door. And of course our guy likes to just stare, stand in the doorway. They're here! Okay. So on this dynamic entry we're going to need to move in quickly so like I said before um, we're going to button hook this have number two come here typically the breacher will go last um, even though he's just standing in the doorway there normally he'd get out of the way a bit more Okay, so we cleared all that out. Now we'll go ahead and do a dynamic entry into this room here. Okay. He will breach. And then we're going to start moving people in. All right, and that is the dynamic entry completed. Now we are going to do the slow, the deliberate method. So we will have him, we're actually not even gonna have him do that. We're just gonna have him breach and then move out. Ah, they're here. Right. Now for this slow, deliberate method, we're gonna have him Start to pie this off. Alright, so he's looking from the outside. Trying to see as much as he can. And practically clears the whole room by himself. So now we'll continue to make entry. I'll go ahead and push him across. And push these guys in. As you can see, that was much safer. Uh, none of our guys have been shot so far, whereas in the last one, people took a couple of rounds. And now we'll get everyone stacked up on this door. We'll have him swing that door open. And now again, we're going to be focused into this room. And we're going to start to pie. We've seen as much as we can here. And now we'll make entry. 
So now the only area that's not cleared is this dead space over here. So like we said before, we will push across and get our muzzle oriented this direction. While number two immediately comes in. And that's why we have two there, so we can take him out quickly. Alright, so hopefully that was helpful in showing the difference between a dynamic and a deliberate entry. Um, if you guys like this kind of video, uh, drop a like, subscribe, put it in the comments that you enjoyed it. Um, and we can make some more like this, or we can continue just making videos of doing missions and learning things along the way um, that happen to show up. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we're nearly at 50 subscribers, which is awesome. So I can't thank you guys enough. I had, I never thought that that would happen. So I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh, so until next time, we'll see you.